Good morning, everyone. As you can see, I was rushing to the campus to have my morning classes. I wanted to arrive a little early so that I would have time to set up PowerPoint before my class began. Oh, hi! After three hours of nonstop talking, I finished the classes, but somehow. I feel so miserable today. Not sure why. I think it's probably because of the topic that we discussed this week. So we are talking about machine learning systems and facial recognition technologies, which is quite different from previous weeks. Like last week, we had a debate about selfies. So it's a big change. And then I think maybe my students are not really interested in this topic, or they didn't really familiar with it. So it was just like a dead silence in the class. I mean, it's quite common. Sometimes there will be like awkward silence in the classroom because we have different topics each week. People would have different kind of reaction to it. I don't know. I was just thinking like whether it is too confusing or is there any points that I didn't make it clear in the class. But everything is finished. I was just focusing on the rest of my day anyway. I have a seminar. I'm starting now, so I will need to check that. And then having my lunch in the meantime. Melbourne is coming to an autumn. I feel like it's more like winter because a couple of days ago I even took out my winter jacket because it became so cold. Well, how's the weather at your place? It's almost three o'clock in the afternoon, and I feel like I want to get a matcha latte. It's random, but after the class, I have been thinking like, what kind of food or what kind of drink that I was craving for. Teaching is just a lot of hard work, but yeah, I think I will bring my laptop with me and then do a little bit of data analysis there and then have my matcha latte. Before I go out, this is the outfit of today because it's almost winter time. That's why I put on my blazer, and this one is like a vintage oversized blazer. And then I'm wearing my regular jeans and a tight cross top because the jeans are quite baggy. And then this one is also oversized. That's why I chose something that is tight. And I'm also wearing this drapey roof bag from Songmont. So I really like the style of it and then the color of it because I never have a black bag before. I'm a big fan of Songmont's bags, but I will say that this one is quite different from my other Songmont bags because this one is inspired by Chinese architecture. That's why you can kind of see like the shape. It looks like a roof in a way. Another thing is that the leather is softer than other kind of bags when you are wearing something that's more casual it is still like a good fit and it's quite versatile in any kind of occasions and then this bag is big enough that I can fit a lot of stuff in it sunglasses cases and my water bottle and I sometimes carry a umbrella as well because you can never predict the weather in Melbourne so on the side it also has this little bag that you can put your cars or your phones in it but yeah this is my recent favorite Okay, we chat a little bit too long. Let's go. Okay, I came to an Italian place to get a hot chocolate because the cafe with matcha latte closed early on that day. It's alright, I just wanted to get something warm and get things done. During a work day, I didn't even know how to describe my feelings. My mind was probably numb. I still question myself a lot, why did I even want to teach this year? I'm not saying that I don't like the work, it's just when I have too many things at hand, I will have doubts on everything. But as the saying goes, if you love life, it will love you back. If you love the work, it will probably love you back, I guess. I just made myself a bowl of soup noodle and I actually got this. Um, it's some random ingredient that I found in Asian market. So using it as a kind of soup seasoning to make the soup more flavorful. Nothing is better than a hot noodle soup in a cold day. And there's nothing that a bowl of hot rice noodle soup can't solve. 
another day, I even went to Springville, which is a suburb in Melbourne that has lots of Vietnamese food places. I believe that food has some kind of therapeutic effect that can lift your spirit. After a bowl of pho, I went to Mornington to take a dip in the hot springs. It wasn't my first time there, so I didn't expect any surprises, but it was still super relaxing on a chilly day. Appalachian sunrise eats my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow on golden. If going to the nature is like an escape from the busy modern life, but then on Monday, I still need to go back to the city lifestyle. Such a nice weather today. I'm gonna go to my office and stay there, continue working. Very productive time at the office. Sometimes I feel like peer pressure is not like a necessary thing, but once you are in an area that you can hear people aggressively typing on their laptop, then you'll be more productive on yourself because it feels like everybody is either hating or loving their PhD life. Okay, I changed to another building because I have a friend working here. And then she's finishing her work, so I can meet up with her and then go dinner together for tonight. Hi everyone, I'm back. So I had mala tang for dinner with my friends and I'm really full right now. But somehow I also want some dessert, so I'm probably gonna grab some fruits in the fridge. Yeah, and then I think that would be the end of today's video. I mean, I am trying to find like find a new way to record videos these few days. This week, I'm actually trying to film a weekly vlog, which is more spontaneous. And then whenever I want to film, I would just carry the camera with me and talk to all of you in front of the screen. And trying to, I don't know, diversify the content in a way, even though I'm not sure how to edit this video yet. But let let me know how do you feel about it. But yeah, I hope you liked today's video and I'll see you in the next one.